I probably Wait, have who? to believe that. No, Trump. No, no, Trump. I'm oh, trying to Trump. think of what slurs Trump has said. Trump, there was the famous, they said he had the, the N-word on tape, but it was never like found or anything. Damn, they couldn't get him on the N-word. Yeah, they never even got it, though. No. No, it's like, some, it's like, an, old, like an MF Doom tape that we'll never get. <laughs> You could probably even get the, me on the end. I love that the tape was just you put it in and it's just it's him looking in the camera and then he just says it and then the tape ends. Dude, if they ever like he recorded it for posterity. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if they ever find that, it should be like that Wu Tang record where they only made one of them. Yeah, Martin yeah, Shkreli yeah, bought, bought it, it for yeah. like a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. He just he smokes weed and listens to it in his apartment before going to jail. <laughs> Trump yeah. just saying the answer. Yeah. Method Man is featured on it. <laughs> Method Man's just going like, yeah, man. Say it. And then he keeps yeah. going. E R E, man. <laughs> Thank you for finishing it. Man, I wish if the cameras weren't rolling, I would have I would have sang that song for hours. Yep. Beep, 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 boop, boop, man. Yeah. Mm. But uh I don't know how we get hey, out of You get off my porch. You don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God! What have we done to our lives? I know. What have we done? Yeah, my baby boy. We're doing a Jew Tang Clan uh, bit. <laughs> Protect your paycheck. But uh, <laughs> you'll be funny now. By the way, is if every week someone enter, says enter the thirty six sewers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Uh, someone said some. I was <laughs> watching something today about the tunnels. I thought, but maybe not. I forget. You're just watching Take and Appel oh. on one, two, three. <laughs> I, take and Appel on one hundred and twenty three dollars. <laughs> and it's it's still John Travolta <laughs> in the big round hat. <laughs> Denzel's being like, All right, I get it. You can't work on Saturdays. I understand. <laughs> uh fucking uh, <laughs> My friend Jake of Pandeo Time told me this. You know Jake? Yeah. yeah. He told me he just found out Nikki Haley is Indian. She's an Indian woman you know who that? bleaches yeah. her skin. Her name is yeah. Nimrata Randawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Her goal is to be the dumbest Indian person <laughs> ever to make it far. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. She has like no Indian traits whatsoever. Nikki Haley sounds like a fucking porn star. Yeah, it does really. It does. Or like a metal musician. And she's like legitimately retarded. Yeah, no, she is retarded. Yeah. I've never listened to her talk. Sometimes I see a quote from her. I'm yeah. like, Jesus, bitch is retarded. No, they kicked yeah. her out of the Indian community. Yeah, which is <laughs> so amazing. she had to become white. She had to become white. <laughs> and yeah, the only people that would believe somebody's that dumb are white people. <laughs> because she literally will like, get on the mic and be like, we need to get Indians out of this fucking country. <laughs> It's like your dad is a snake in a diaper. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? <laughs> you're the most Indian. You're more Indian than Vivek Ramaswamy. Yeah. Who did you see? <clears throat> did you see not to get political? But he did right before there was like the Iowa caucus, which I guess is important. Yeah, Trump won it like in twenty Trump, minutes. Trump won it easily, which yeah. you know he's the man. Um, but Vivek, it was like thirty minutes before the caucus opened. He just tweeted. He goes. Uh, um, uh, trans people aren't real. You can't become a woman. Vote for me in the Iowa caucus. Ooh, wow. It's just some like desperate, like, mm. you know, maybe this will get him. And then mm-hmm. no, uh, mm-hmm. no votes. And yeah. then dropped out. Maybe Matt Walsh will retweet this. <laughs> oh, here it is. Look at this. She still doesn't look Indian. No. Oh, wait. Where's that yearbook photo? Yeah, yeah, right there. there. She's, I'm sure she's like half or kind of. Maybe she started whitewashing early. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? she might have started using bleach early. Mm-hmm. She could have convinced people she was like Paul Abdul's cousin or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Her, her uh, parents were immigrants. Uh, they were Sikh parents from Amritsar, Punjab, India. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. When you're from Punjab, that's really India. Well, she's an embarrassment <laughs> to India and, her, and America. <laughs> yeah. And her birth name was literally Nim- Nimarata, Nimarata Nikki Ramanata. Yeah, her name is... Uh, here, I'll get it up right here. Uh, let's see here. It's dumb bitch. Her name is like the fucking name game. Nim- Nim- uh, Nimarada Nikki Rondwa. Yeah. yeah, that's terrible. I wonder why she changed her name. <laughs> oh, she even... Oh, oh yeah. And her parents, like, they went to, like, Punjab Agricultural University. Her parents uh, initially started... They fought each other. It was a mongoose and a cobra. <laughs> and then they, they fell in love later on. Yeah, she went to Rudyard Kipling High. <laughs> <laughs> she graduated. She majored in the Jungle Book. 
By the way, a lot of the I didn't realize a lot of the Indian people that you see, the husbands and wives, mm-hmm. they are in arranged marriages. Yeah. Which mm-hmm. I didn't realize. And a lot of them actually seem somewhat happy. Yeah. You wonder yeah. if anybody if you you're with someone long enough and you try to make it work, you can. You just yeah, you just do it. I wonder if the soulmate thing isn't real. It ain't for Indians. Hey, <laughs> You'd have to you have souls it. first, yeah, folks. Yep, you beat me to it. <laughs> gotta have souls before but you got a mate. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I do. I do kind of think it is. They're like it works because we, you know, we don't. We've pushed every emotion out of our entire fucking. Yeah, I body. think it has a lot to do with the whole just like stoic. Yeah, they're like I'm nature not, of. I was a person f- until I turned seven, and then I turned mm-hmm. into this robot that opens cigarette stores. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose it does like take a lot of the anxiety out of life that you're like you basically like your parents just go here's pussy fuck it yeah you here's the pussy you fuck and it's the only one you're Dude, allowed to fuck. Imagine you get like a really ugly bitch. No. Like they set yeah. you up with like the Indian Will and Don. They set you up with Indian Don. Dude, a lot of the Indian bitches seem hot as shit though before they get to 40. Oh, there's a lot of beautiful Indian women. I need me an Indian but bitch I imagine, that never leaves the kitchen. Do the men like do you even like ha- like care that much though cuz they're all like they're wearing a bunch of shit? Yeah. You, you know. You can't even like really see their They pets. always look like they just got back from a children's party <laughs> and they like didn't wipe the glitter off or whatever, or the stickers yeah. and shit. They look like a pile of laundry that's been sitting on a chair for too long. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need me a fucking dude today I was like, fuck, I need a, an Indian bitch. Because I always very think funny, Caitlin, it just landed on you Caitlyn landed Jenner. on Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Who is kind of the Nikki Haley of trans yes. people. Yep. She also hates trans people. But like if I uh, if I had to do it over like out of respect for my wife and it and it didn't like work out you know I would I I go Japanese or Indian I'm kind of leaning towards Indian now where I would get I need me an Indian bitch who just she never leaves the kitchen and there's always just pots going I, and, and that's her own decision I don't have to tell her to do that shit mm-hmm. it's 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 instinct can I tell to, you to her can I tell you, I don't butter want... chicken chicken makani uh, lamb korma mm-hmm. the wow. whole thing somebody read a menu earlier today. <laughs> I've been learning the names. <laughs> yeah, I love Indian food. So sue me. I uh, Indian women are great. I'd go with Japanese woman. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't want to clean. Eat. She's not spitting on the counter to wipe it off. Like mm-hmm. using, you know, like yeah. But Japanese women can they cook? Because you go to a Japanese restaurant, it's just the men doing the work. Oh, the women take the orders, and they just have the pen, and they look at you like they hate you. Mine will cook. Yeah, <laughs> I think Japanese women are very, and I've thought about this. They're very good at packing these cute little lunches that could be like the top thing on a Pinterest page or a Tumblr. Like they can pack like weird little candies and little sandwiches and stuff, and mm-hmm. put that in and make a cool TikTok out of that. And it's very sterile and clean. They and just, it'll never get sick because they've worked at a radio factory for years, and they're used yeah. to just putting a little screw into like a box. Mm-hmm. They seem they seem quicker. Japanese women they seem more nimble. For they sure. seem as they age. Like Indian mm-hmm. women when they start they hit a certain age, they seem like like when your grandma used to get off the the chair and fart every time. <laughs> They seem like they just kind of turn into that. They wear there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of row. I, I I feel like Japanese women would maybe wear less clothes. It'd be like nicer to look at. Mm-hmm. I've thought about this. Once the Indian woman turns forty, you either fake her death or you just cheat on her. Mm-hmm. But she still keeps cooking. Right. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna, I I get your point. I get your point. I think an Indian woman would eat you alive. If I'm being honest. Oh, you think that she'd have sass? I and think stuff? She, I think she would have a lot of sass from all the uh, Indian wives I've worked with in uh, private security. I think she'd chase you out of the house with like a big frying pan and a and a broom. The Indian wives are no good and uh... no, they're just me- they're just mean as hell, and they're just like you know. Making everybody feel shitty. Are about they themselves. mean as like Armenians and stuff? The Armenian guys that serve us, uh, or the the Indian guys that serve us, they're so kind. Yeah, because he, he always wives, gives me a free Coke Zero. Yeah, because they're just happy they're not around their wives. Yeah, they're at work, which is their only peace. Whose name is Mercedes, but because they're banging a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're happy they're at their their job, getting guns pulled on them instead of at home. <laughs> Yep. Having their wife yell at them that they have not opened a seventh location, <laughs> while she just we sh- while she glues another jewel to a blanket that yeah. she wears. Yeah, Armenian women they they get upset if their husband didn't open up another front deli that is not they don't serve sandwiches well, and no one there knows how to make a yeah, sandwich. It's, and it's just a funnel money. Yeah, it's called Cocaine's Deli. Yeah, yeah. 
There are so many fucking delis in Glendale that are fake. They yes. make no sense. No one there. No, you walk in and they. It was a bunch of guys sitting at a table and they look at you like, "Oh shit, I forgot we are a restaurant." I guess. Yeah, I've, I've done that before. I walked into a coffee shop in Glendale and it was five old guys who looked like Junior Soprano. Mm. And I go, "Can I get a coffee?" They go, "Oh." And the guy just like walks in the back and just pours like coffee out of there. They'll pot. go to Starbucks and buy you a coffee and bring it back. To yeah, you. yeah, and they'll be like, "It's a dollar, whatever. Get the hell out, <laughs> get of, out here. of here." <laughs> We're playing cards. I, yeah. I think Indians look at women as so worthless. They're like, the only way this bitch could have any value is if we put a goddamn rupee in her head. <laughs> cut a little slit right there and put a jewel in her head so I don't fucking cut her head off. Yeah, I gotta yeah. give her some worth. Make it look like little Uzi Vert. <laughs> <laughs>